I'm Claire from Creative the Otterway. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! here in the UK. Thank you for joining me. Um, today's make is unashamedly Christmas. We are going to be making one of these beautiful bauble decorations. Um, this is not a new make, they've been around a little while. Um, the bauble comes like that and then you just separate it and fill it. Um, you can put all sorts in there. You could put a photo in there. You could put something, a little knitted thing that you'd made. Anything really. Um, some people that I know have just filled it with a feather or two. It's literally fillable. So whatever you like, chocolates. Chocolates is always a good fill. Um, anything. But in this day of being thrifty, we are going to use half the bauble and make some Christmas decorations. So it, they're both the same, both sides. It doesn't matter which one you use. Um, we are going to use the gingerbread, I think it's sweet gingerbread set from Stampin' Up. Uh, I love the stamp set and I love the dies. I'm a big fan of dies. I've got rheumatoid arthritis and some days, even if I use my stamparatus, stamping is difficult for me. Um, and it's sort of making me feel like I'm not good at it. Um, so I've gone recently over to doing a lot of die cutting um, and I'm really loving it. You, there's no, it's a no fail. Um, so that's why I'm doing that. What else do I need to tell you? I think that's it. A close up of the stamp set is like this. You get a house, a um, bit of a cloud, some different doors, windows, accessories. Love this little candy cane that comes out like that. Isn't that cute? Um, the heart even is really nice. I really like the heart and the trees. Big fan of the trees as well. And you can stamp on them and that comes out really lovely. I think bright, vibrant colours makes it really have a wow. The dies, so the dies, there's lots of them. I don't know what you do with your dies, but when there's so many, it's quite hard to keep a track of which, how to get them back on the set, and also how many there are, if you've missed any. Um, so I always tend to draw around mine. Um, sometimes I transfer it to a magnet, magnetic sheet and put it inside my stamp set, just inside there. And then I put a dot on the side so I know which one's coordinates with a, a die set and which coordinates with a punch. Um, but definitely found drawing around the dies is really helpful so I know which ones are missing. Um, this is a really nice die set because if you die cut the trees, they come out really lovely. Um, you don't need to have the stamp set as well. It's the same with the heart. This little fence, let me show you a fence. There's a bit of it, isn't that beautiful? I can see that on wedding cards, all sorts of things. So um, new home cards as well. This house is ideal for that. Um, I struggle to do new home cards, so this is a really good die for me as well. So that's the dies. Should we get started? The bauble that I'm using, it's quite big. It's just over seven centimetres. Um, the ones that I did last year, these ones, they're much smaller. So they are just over six centimetres. So just be aware that you can get different size baubles and you may need to adjust what you're doing for that. I mean, there's no way I would get a gingerbread house in there, but I did get the Bethlehem dies. This is a retired stamp, a die set that Stampin' Up! did, um, I think it was a couple of years ago now but it's, it's really good for Christmas things and I really love how those come out. So, you need half a bauble. You then need a couple of these. So you need two that are gonna be the background. So they need to be slightly bigger than your bauble, okay? So if you've got the layered circles from Stampin' Up, you're in. Um, perfect thing to have in your stash. You get a few circles, well not a few, quite a few, Circles that are this shape around the edge and then a lot that are this shape just have a smooth and they just layer up together. Um, I use them such a lot. Um, so if you haven't got those, I would recommend you getting those. So we need two of those. We also need 
a coloured piece for the background. Now I'm going to use this Seasoft foam um, and I've got, I've actually got a punch, a two and a half inch punch, um, but one of the layered circles will do you very well for that. What it needs to be is the size just slightly smaller than your bauble because you're going to build everything up on this. Okay, so you need one of those as well. And then all your bits and pieces to make your picture. So I've already die cut some bits from the gingerbread house, uh, sweet gingerbread set. I've got the house, I've got some trees, I've die cut one of the doors and I've stamped it. Now, I actually die cut it and then stamped on it over the top. Because the stamp set is polymer, you can see. So if I show you that, so this is one of the windows okay so oh didn't bring an ink right wait for me so this is mint macaroon the windows are actually joined you could cut it off i didn't feel the need to and also, I don't want it a really strong mint macaroon, so I stamp off once and then I get my little bit of die cut. If I put it on the green just so you can see it there, but I can see through and stamp over the top like so. Okay. And that gives me my window. Now, I don't mind that it's not clearly stamped because I think that gives it a bit of authenticity. So that's my windows. That's my door. Um, what else did I die cut from the set? A little heart. I'm going to put a heart on. Some trim for the gingerbread house. Like so. And well, I'm not sure if I'm going to use these, but I might. They're like the little candy canes. There's a little bit of the fencing. That's quite a long die, actually. But if I show you the die, that's really long. But I've just got a bit of it left. And I think that might be it. I've also got some snow. So I've got these snowballs. I don't know where they've come from. You know you have things in your stash that you've had for years and years and years, and you never use them up. Glitter's a bit like that, isn't it? You just keep hold of it forever. So I've got some of those. I've got some of this elasticy silver for the hanging bit. And I think that's it. You also need some pennies. Now I saw this on um, a paper tray ink uh, video and it really does help balance your bauble. So we need some of those. We need some glue dots. Hmm, did I bring the glue dots through? No, I don't think I did. Right, I need to go and get those. And some dimensionals, some paper snips. You need a nice sharp pair of scissors. Hang on, Rose. And I'm also going to use some of this vellum for the background because it's a nice snowy scene. This is from Stampin' Up! as well. So, I'm going to go and get the glue dots. Oh no, they're here. Oh, I'm better than I thought I was. Okay. So we can get started. So the first thing I am going to do is concentrate on the bauble. So I am going to take this piece and I'm going to start building that up. I'm going to use my two and a half inch punch to just punch out a circle from the vellum. Um, now you might think, oh, that is why did she put a coloured piece of card behind if she's going to cover it with vellum? But it's much nicer than just putting it on the white. You don't really get the same effect on white. So literally, I've just cut the same size out of that and that. Hang on, Rose, I'll let you out. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that gets glued onto there. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. Glue. So we just put some glue on here, it's not going to be seen, so, and this will dry clear anyway. So that goes straight on there, directly on top. So that's that bit. 
Okay, and then we can start thinking about building up. Now, this is quite deep, oh, really quite deep. So we want it to come out quite a bit. Not, it doesn't need to be really flat, otherwise there's no point really using the bauble. You could just do a frame round it with your dies. So the next thing I'm gonna do is start thinking about building it up. So as it's a snow seam, I'm gonna make some snow at the bottom. So this is two circles, exactly the same. But what I'm gonna do is cut across. So I want one fairly high up. Let's see if I can do that. So I'm just guessing where a snow might lay. So just like that. It's about three quarters, just over a halfway. So that will go on there. And then this will go on here. I'm gonna use the other half and you, can look at that and think we're well, not even going to see it but we're going to put some dimensionals behind so the house now the house when you look at the house it's way too big you could just put it in the middle but i'm going to have it off center like so and then i'm going to put some trees behind here at the moment i'm just playing i'm just building my scene seeing what i like about it the most important thing at this stage is remembering that you don't want to go over this circle. So it may be that I have to cut the trees down a bit so that they fit in. I like that there. Some white trees, some green trees. That will go on there. I'm not sure about these. Where could they go? Do they look a bit lost on there? They will stand out because they're bright. Maybe we put those there. The door is going to need to go there. The heart. Yeah, I can see that coming together. I'm quite happy with that. So when you've messed about and done all your bits and you think, yeah, that's the layout. Oh, now putting the fence on there, will we see it? We will if I put it sort of above the snow line. So I need to remember that. So I'm going to move all of these bits off again. I'm happy that I've got everything I need and I can just go for it. I can just put it on. So on the back of this taller bit, I'm just going to put some dimensionals. So these are really good because they give your projects 3D effect without you having to put much effort in. Um, I'm just going to put a few all over like so. Oh, one's stuck to my nail now. Okay, put that back there. So just peeling all the back and I'm just lining it up with the bottom of the circle. Okay, so that's my first layer. I'm gonna do the next layer. So I'll just have a look in case I wanna spin it over. But no, I'm gonna put it that way. So I'm just gonna put some dimensionals again on this. Now it's, it hasn't got any weight, but I want this to last a good couple of years. I'm going to bring it out every year. So I'm going to put quite a few dimensionals on it, even though it's a tiny piece of card. Usually I'm quite thrifty with my dimensionals. Right, so I just need to be careful about where the level is. Do I want it like that? But then my trees won't fit behind. And again, you just put this, layer that there. Okay. So that's that. Now, my tree. So shall I do the trees or the house? I think I need to do the house. Now, this house is not going to go centrally. It's going to go over to the side. Okay, but I want the door to be showing. So, and I want the house to sort of fit in there. So, about there. So again, I'm going to put dimensionals, but I'm actually going to put them only on this half because this overhangs. If I turn it over, you can see, and I'm going to trim that in a minute. So there's no point me putting dimensionals on it. I've got glue everywhere. Okay. So I put a dimensional there. Put one there. Another one there. Um, I think we might get another one there. And because this is going to be on this part, I'm actually going to do that double thickness. 
So I'm putting one on top of another because these are going to be on there, but this one is going to be right at the top and I want the t uh, house to be prominent. Okay, so that's that one. And then before I do anything else, I'm going to try and see if it's lined up. Okay, so I'm looking to make sure that is the bottom, that is the top. I'm going to turn it over and you can see here how it overhangs. I'm just going to trim that. Don't worry, don't panic, it will be fine. You won't even notice when it's in the bauble. I'm going to leave that little bit of chimney because I know there's a bit of room. Right, that suddenly doesn't look like a house, does it? It's all right, we're going to fix that. Now, if I put the trim on next, oh, like so. Now, this is going to overhang as well, but I'm going to glue it anyway and then trim it. Okay, so that's there. Oh, like so. And now I'm going to turn it over and trim it off again. Because you just want everything to be inside that. Okay, the door. Door is probably about there. Yeah, okay, let's put your door on. Again, I'm not putting glue on the bottom because there's no point. It's not going to be in place. Okay, so the door's about there. I'm going to trim that off. And you can see already the different layers. Okay, uh, windows. Now, will I get both windows on? Because I've chopped off some of the house. Let's have a look. Got that window there. That window there. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Just putting a dab of Tombow on there. Suddenly the house has got eyes. <laughs> and now half of my house, the house that didn't look like a house, looks like a house. Okay, it does really look like it's looking at me. Okay, the heart. Now I want the heart to be on there. But I think the dimensionals are too big, so I'm going to cut a bit off from around the edge. See if we can fit this on like so because I want the heart to really stand out. Ta -da! Okay, it's looking good so far. Um, so what else did I want? I wanted some of this fence to go on there, didn't I? So that it does stand out. So glue, just need a bit of glue on here. And it's not much of the fence that I'm using. What I'm looking at is this snow line here. Just tucking it behind. So I can still get a tree behind there. I'm just making sure it's stuck at the bottom. So again, cutting off the excess. Got a little bit of fence there. Trees. Okay, let's make sure because the dimensionals are there. Yeah, I can get one in. So I'm going to put some glue on the back of there. And that's going to go there. Okay. And a white tree next to it. Is that going to fit in as well? Because it's important to have the top of the trees, not so much the bottom. So if you're going to need to trim, trim the bottom of your trees. If you haven't got this set, but you'd like it, you can shop with me if you're in the UK. If you haven't got this set, but you've got lots of other sets that you think would be really good for um, a bauble, just give it a go. You'll be amazed how good they look. So that is going to go there. Not sure if we need another tree. I think that's quite nice like that. And then, oh, it was this. Do we think we should have one of them there? Oh no, it's going behind. Lost it. Or one there. Do I think it looks alright tucked behind, doesn't it? 
I might tuck it behind. Actually, I might put a dimensional on the back, the circle bit, so that it does stand out. Okay, like so. And then I'm just going to tuck it in there. Sort of just past the house. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. I think that's it. So let me have a look what that looks like. Yep, I think that looks nice. So let's put this together. This bit needs to be stuck on here, okay? But I'm also going to do that on dimensionals because there's such a lot of room in there and I really want it to stand out. So that is going to go onto some dimensionals. Make sure you've got plenty of dimensionals is the moral of this story. And that's going there. And there. Okay, so now just try and get it in the middle. Okay, so already that looks beautiful. Like I say, if you haven't got baubles, you could just make a frame around it and just use that. You can still make it into a shaker card, just use some acetate to put on the front. What do I need to do next? So I need to stick this on, but obviously I need some snow. So I'm not going to make the mistake of putting so much that I can't see the door on this one. But, I, and I'm not going to put the flat snow, I am just putting some baubles. It's better to add a few at a time and let them settle. That's enough. I don't want to overdo it again. Trouble is they're so glittery. You think, oh, you need you need plenty. Okay. Okay, and what I might actually do is put a little blob of glue and stick a couple so that they do stay up. Because they're all gonna settle down the bottom, aren't they? But not because they're glued. So that's sticking to me. And put one. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. On the green tree. Oh, look, that one said, use me. Okay. Now, how do you stick this onto there? If you've got Tombow glue, you can just go around the edge of your glue like this. Uh, round the edge of the bauble, okay? Just because there's two ends on Tombow, okay? So literally, I'm just going round it and just putting some glue. I'll show you in a minute, I'll just do it. Alternatively, you can make a little puddle of it on your silicone mat or anything like that and then just dip it in the only thing I've found with that is that you get covered in glue, your bauble gets covered in glue, and you just end up a sticky mess. Um, what happens is you get glue onto the front of your bauble, and then your beautiful, clear, see-through bauble just looks a bit mucky. But you do want to make sure there's enough glue for it to stick. Concentration is making me go quiet. Okay, so we're nearly there, I think. Okay, so this is going to be the top of the bauble where it's going to hang. So make sure that that is at the top of your thing. And then just go for it if you think that's okay. You can press it down for a second or two, but you really don't need to. And then resist the temptation to lift it up and look, okay? Just move it to one side. Now we're going to concentrate on this back bit. So we need to weigh it down so that the bauble hangs down all the time. So we're going to put some pennies on. Now I've got some glue dots here because I've just, I've just found it easier doing it with glue dots. So what I tend to do is put the glue dot on the penny, rub the back, oh, and then peel off. And the glue dot's not on your finger, it's on the penny. 
you need them around the bottom. So there's one. I feel like I should have Christmas music on making this. But then you wouldn't be able to hear me. Okay. Next one. So that goes next to it. Okay, around there. So another one. And there. One more penny. You could, of course, use washers. Um, what else could you use? For if you're into sewing weights that you put in curtains, you could use those. I quite like it that I'm given pennies. Okay, so that's that. Now, to stick it to this bit, you need to put a glue dot on the other side of the penny. Okay, so that it all joins together. So there's one. And there's one. Yeah. And then the last one just goes on there. And then we're going to go back to our dimensionals. Okay, and we're just going to put some around because if you just use glue, it's not going to stick because your pennies have got a bit of depth on them. So we're just going to put some dimensionals around. And again, I want it to stay on, so I am using more than I would normally because it has got some weight to hold. And I'm also trying to fit one in between the pennies there and there. Oh, there you go, get that off. So by the time we take all these, I'm going to find these everywhere, aren't I? Where's the strangest place you found one of the dimensionals back in? I found them everywhere. In, on my cap. And um, Rosie, she seems to get in everywhere. There's a paper bag in the craft room, she's in it. Um, Amber, not so much. Although she does come and sit right on top of everything. Just at the wrong moment when you're trying to craft. Do you think I need another one there? Let's put another one there just to be sure. So now what I'm going to do, leave these at the bottom and very carefully move this over and try and line it up. Now if you don't line it up, don't panic because it will just look like it's meant to be like that. Okay? Only you will see the little... See mine's not lined up. I've lined it up here and not here. And I'm not going to mess about with it now. And then some of this elastic. Okay, so that is going to thread all down. Okay, and tie that in a knot. I actually don't know that I will at the minute. I'm going to leave it to dry a little bit more first. But that is how to make a bauble. Okay, dare I lift it up and show you. So my snowballs are staying where I glued them. I can see the door this time. Oh, that's come out. But there is our Christmas bauble with the sweet gingerbread house. Put that back on. So I'll tie that in a minute. So there's one. And there's two. So go have fun. Make yourself some Christmas decorations and share your love with other people. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Um, if you have, 
subscribe and click the bell button and every time I post a video you will get to watch it. Um, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook for more inspiration. If you have a go at this crafty make, please send me a picture. I love to see what you make at createattheotterway at gmail.com. If you're in the UK and you'd like to shop for the supplies, again, go to createattheotterway.co.uk. Happy crafting! Bye!